cannabis stocks got slaughtered again. Believe it or not, I'm now going to start getting ready for cannabis federal legalization. I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm buying a few lottery tickets, and it could pay off pretty big. But in the meantime, let's talk about something that um, is a possibility. First, uh, the omnibus, according to what I've read so far, there are 59 senators saying yay on the potential omnibus. You need 60, though. And if it's only 59, Mitch is going to have his way. He was gloating on Wednesday as to what he did on Tuesday, shooting down cannabis out of NDAA. A man who is clearly out of touch with the entire nation, a political party who just got schooled pretty hard because they're out of touch with society. And yet they don't learn. Okay. Nonetheless, despite the fact that the House is trying to do something, Congress is trying to do something, I've maintained exactly the same thing. Hey, that would be awesome. Let's get this done. But the higher probability is, of course, Biden rescheduling cannabis. He's ordered a whole bunch of, uh, he's ordered HHS and DOJ to t take a look at this. Just Monday, HHS, Becerra, just tweeted at 420 that they're working on this. Still, it's a process. You can't bang it out in one day. My bet is that something probably happens in the first 90 days of 2023. Brand new Congress, things are moving forward. Bam, let's hit something with this. They're not going through 40,000 documents trying to figure out, hey, is this good stuff or not? There's plenty of literature out there that it's basically at this point running common knowledge that cannabis should not be Schedule 1. All they have to do is drop down one level, Schedule 2, 3, 4, 5, or the proverbial Schedule 6, which is no scheduling whatsoever. And so what I'm doing is I'm getting ready for that event. In the meantime, it's very possible that... Uh, they try again. Congress tries one more time. But it might not be enough if they only have 59 senators. So we may have to go through this up and down again next week only to have a whole bunch of water thrown on the fire. We'll see. But that's not what I'm planning for. If it goes, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. But what I like is lottery tickets. Let's jump in. I want to show you something real quick and how this could pay off real big. Okay, here we have a chart on Tilray. And Tilray is actually a stock I like a lot. I think it's going to go places over the long term. There are a few NASDAQ stocks that I'm not really in love with, but there are some that are turning a corner. There are some that are darn good, like high tide. But what I want to look at is Right here. This is February 2021, right after the blue wave showed up and the promise of cannabis federal legalization was an opportunity. All right. Cannabis stocks started rallying. Short sellers started taking it hard. So they started exiting. So all those short sellers moving out pushed stocks up even higher. People started showing up, hearing about cannabis stocks taking off because of legalization, this, that, the other thing. They bought in more, pushed out short sellers even more. It got crazy, really crazy. And in fact, let me switch to another chart. Here is another chart. This is Google Trends, and I highly recommend you taking a look at Google Trends. Right here is that period of time when things spiked up as much as they did. Uh, there we go. February 7th to the 13th was the high point. That is 100. That is where... Um, and if you look, I'll leave that box there for just a second. Uh, those are the search strings that I kind of pay attention to. But that first one, the top one is the big one. All right. During that period of time, that set the bar. That's how much people rushed in during that period of time. All right. And when I showed you that, that chart on Tilray, the high was about $67. 
moving up from about where it is right now, all the way up to $67 in a really short period of time. We've not even come close to the search levels that were happening back in February 2021. As a matter of fact, if we look right here, the most recent data point, we're only at 2% of the search volume for the phrase cannabis stocks on Google. No one's searching for this stuff. All right. If Biden were to do his thing, it will happen like that. No one's going to see it coming. But Sarah, he can tweet all day long. People are ignoring him. And all of a sudden, one day, there's going to be an announcement. Yeah, so this is what we've come up with. We're going to make a recommendation to the DOJ and to the President of the United States. The DOJ will nod this off. And then guess what? The President of the United States is going to go ahead and do an executive order. And cannabis is now scheduled at, boom, wherever. Given that, my expectation is we'll probably see a repeat when it comes to the stock price for movement that we saw here. Again, the high was about 67 bucks. Right now, trading at one-fifth of that or 5% of that. I love lottery tickets. I'm an options trader. And I'm helping someone else out who doesn't make a lot of money. All right. And I'm telling them, I said, listen, this is an opportunity, but I'm going to tell you right now, you can lose everything. It's like going down to the 7 Eleven and buying a lottery ticket. You put a buck down, and guess what? You're probably going to lose it. Most likely, you're going to lose this. But I laid out the probabilities of what I believed was going to happen with this. He's like, all right, I'll bite. Simply because if we look at, um, all right, if we look at, Tilray, here's your quote dashboard on CBOE options chain. These are all the options for Tilray for March 2023. All right. Tilray, of course, is trading bid offer 358, 359 on the NASDAQ. A $5 call is trading at 43 cents. Now, my buddy, again, doesn't really have a whole lot of money, but he likes to play things. He plays crypto. He plays things like this. He's like, you know what? I'm always looking for something. And I laid it out and I said, you know what? I think this is a high probability, but you might lose 30, 34 cents per trade. He's going to buy a hundred. This is not for people who can just, you know, if, if you're like eating ramen, don't do this. You, you, there's a good chance you might lose it. But for me and for what I'm doing with my buddy, He's going to put up 34 bucks. It's going to give him 100 options. If this thing goes to, say, 65 bucks, that means he's going to earn 60 bucks per option. He'll have 100. That's $6,000 off of a, what, $43 option, 43 cent option. He'll pay $43 for 100 options. I'm going to go in with a little more size than that. And I'm not going to limit myself to till rate. I'm going to be looking at some other ones, the big players, CGC, uh, Tilray, Sundial, the ones that people who have no idea what they're doing are going to rush into and push Tilray back up to the $60 level. Keep in mind, a lot of people, they're not following these stocks. 2%, that's the search volume compared to what was the biggest peak in search. Will we hit that biggest peak in search? Probably, but not definitely. Will these stocks move? We've already seen the potential just two, three, four days ago. Is this a guarantee? Absolutely not. Does it have a probability of factor above 50? I believe so, but I've been wrong before. So my guy is going to go ahead and bust in on this. And honestly, I'm going to ride with it. I'm going to ride in big. So these are 100-day options. They, they, they expire, I believe, March 17th, which at this point is about 100 days. If Biden makes a signature or at least an announcement within the next 100 days and these stocks clear $5.43, <coughs> These options are profitable, and this is something I'm willing to take. Now, normally I take long-term positions, and I don't really care about the up and down. I'm looking 5, 10, 25 years from now. So I'm will I, I don't really sweat 
these moves we've been seeing at all. But this is something that's a little different because there's a time limit. That 43 cents, it could expire worthless. But the upside potential could be quite wafty. Given that, I'm biting in on this. And I'm going to start buying up a whole bunch of these options, which are lottery tickets. I think within 100 days, we see a huge move. Because I think Biden's going to go ahead and do this pretty soon. What if he doesn't do it in the first 90 days of next year? I'll come in and buy the same options, a couple bucks up. This is what, a buck 50 out, buck 25 out? I'll come out and I'll do this again over the next 90 days, paying about the same amount. I'll look for some movement to the downside when volatility and implied vol drop significantly. I'll come in, I'll buy those bid offers, uh, I'll hit the offers, and away it goes. I'll keep doing that over the course of the entire next year, 2023. And if I have to, I'll do it in 2024. But eventually, they're going to hit. And I will more than recover what I'm looking at. For my guy, that would be a bump up for him. And it's not really that much of a commitment. But he understands that risk that, yeah, these probably go... Uh, but they could go worthless and I have to do this again. It's not that big of a bite for them. I'm doing far bigger size than just 100 options like what he'd be doing. So that's how I'm preparing for the eventuality of what I think is a very high probability and the ripple effects that it will create. Right now, we're seeing a whole bunch of short sellers stepping in and really pounding these stocks. They're not going to have any warning. Well, they already have warning and they're blatantly ignoring it. And that's going to be really expensive for them. And that's whose money I'm going to be taking. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. I'll keep tabs on this as to how this plays out. I'll see you in the next video.